economically it is very depressed according to the uh, census figures the average income is at or below poverty level so it was devastated before the flood hit and if you can imagine devastation on top of devastation there is a big drug problem here in town a lot of drugs it's my opinion this is the drug capital of the county. We, the law enforcement will, would arrest them. They're on the street the next day, back into drugs. You arrest them, they, sometimes they get home before you do. And it's frustrating. And I've seen a lot of families split because of drugs. Not necessarily alcohol, but it's, it's pills, pills and meth. It just ruins your health, and it's very addictive. They grow up in that life, and then they turn to drugs because the whole family did it. And it's, families are split. It, it ruins families, it ruins the kids. You see the kids out walking the streets and that's the way it is in Richwood. And it just keeps going. It's like a, like a virus. It just gets passed on one to another. There is a lot of drugs and alcohol. There's a lot of um, physical abuse in marriages. And um, so when, when I pray for our community, I pray for the strongholds of alcohol, drugs, sexual abuse on um, young people, and physical and sexual abuse on um, people in homes, whether it be man or woman, that if the partner is using or drinking, you know, there's just a lot of um, that kind of stuff that goes on. A lot of it is by hopelessness. Uh, you can look at the children's eyes when they're first or second grade in school, and you're going to see a bunch of them this, uh, this uh, December. And their eyes are bright, they're full of hope. And when you look at them in middle school and high school, they won't even look you in the eye. They cast their eyes downward because they feel defeated. They feel hopeless. And with hopeless, they're trying to find something. They don't know what they're looking for. And we're dealing with the, even up to the fourth generation that's never been in church. The churches that were here to start with haven't done much. And we're trying to overcome that because they don't know what, don't, not knowing what they're looking for, they're looking for all types of man-made substances and don't know that they're looking for Christ himself.